Did you hear about that Logan secret found footage video? I don't want to talk about it. That Mel Gibson might join the Suicide Squad? Or what about the Coen brothers scripting the Scarface remake? No? We've got you covered. You're in good hands with us. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we get to the goods, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. Number three, Coen Brothers scripted the Scarface remake. Say hello to my little friend. Actually, say hello to two friends. The iconic filmmaking duo of Joel and Ethan Coen have been hired by Universal to doctor the script for their 2018 remake of Scarface. Who put this thing together? Me! That's who! The idea of remaking the iconic gangster flick raised some eyebrows when first announced, and raised even more when the story went through script edits from Suicide Squad's David Ayer, straight out of Compton's Jonathan Herdman, and Wolf of Wall Street's Terrence Winter. And with this script, which is now your new harpoon, I'm gonna teach each and every one of you to be Captain Ahab. Finally, the project landed on the laps of the four-time Oscar-winning brothers, who looked to bring the reimagining into the same legendary status as the 1983 version. With Martin Bregman, who produced the 83 original returning to produce the remake, and Rogue One star Diego Luna playing Tony Montana, the new Scarface finds itself in a great position to succeed. You finished? Can I go now? Number two, Logan found footage teases X-23's origins. She's like you, very much like you. Yes, she is, Professor X. Yes, she is. <laughs> 20th Century Fox treated audiences with a found footage style teaser that showcases the origins of the young girl seen in the Logan trailers, otherwise known as X-23 or Laura. As the video shakes its way through what is believed to be a Weapon X facility, we are witness to some pretty horrific stuff. Giant knives and tools, tissue and cell regeneration charts, and a young girl being poked and prodded, covered in blood. To top it all off, we see her crying in pain and then cutting herself. The tonal shift in Logan had Fox executives worried that the film would be too dark in comparison to previous Wolverine releases. But with the Red Band trailers and now Laura.mov receiving overwhelming praise from audiences, Fox might as well cut it out with all the worry. You still have time. Before we get to our final pick, be sure to check out these new releases. What is it they want? To feed. All part of the cure. There is no cure! Accept the diagnosis, and you will see. It's wonderful here. Number one Mel Gibson in Talks to Direct Suicide Squad sequel. Yes, I've heard. Mel Gibson may have thought Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice was a, and I quote, piece of shit. Is that right? But that might not stop the Braveheart director from taking on another DC property, Suicide Squad's sequel. Let's do it! Deadline first broke that Warner Bros. and Gibson are in early talks, and sources say that Mel is familiarizing himself with the material. Right, are you impressed yet? No. Why should I be? This does, however, seem like a strange fit for Gibson after he had ripped superhero movies in a previous interview with Deadline. Talk about a workplace where a man's gone wrong. While promoting Hacksaw Ridge, Mel said that he wasn't interested in the stuff and that the difference between real heroes and superheroes was that the former didn't wear spandex. It's about time someone told a story about a real life superhero, one that doesn't wear spandex, you know. Mel may have some competition if he actually wants the job. As Variety says, Warner Bros. is also looking at Ruben Fleischer, Daniel Espinoza, and Jonathan Levine to direct. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.